So I just wanted to add in, this is one of my fur babies. This is Pino the cat. He is like the sweetest cat ever. So he's my best stitching buddy. He'll just lay next to me. Um, so yeah, there's Pino. Say bye. Hey everybody, it's Jessica. Uh, it is March 1st, so this is my second floss tube video. It's just going to be a wrap up of February. Um, just wanted to thank everybody that took the time to watch my first video, to like it, to comment, and to subscribe. And actually a few of you featured me in your videos, so that was really nice and I really appreciate it. So, thank you. And just uh, overall, it's been really great being able to connect with the floss tube community and talk to people about, you know, the things that we like to do that other people may not care about or understand. So, um, yeah, thanks for that, and I'm really enjoying myself. And uh, hopefully, everyone had a good February, uh, stitching wise or non-stitching wise. My February is pretty good. A little bit more stressful than usual. Uh, some of you know I'm a nurse. So I recently transitioned into the emergency department. I have been a floor nurse working in a cardiac stroke floor for a little over three years. So I felt pretty confident, I guess you could say, there. So, you know, going from being confident to kind of feeling like you're new all over again and just not knowing a lot, it is stressful. There's a lot to learn and it can be a stressful environment, but so far I'm really liking it. It's a lot of fun. Um, like I said, there's a lot to learn and I like that and there's actually like a group of us transitioning because we're opening a new emergency room soon so it's been a lot of fun and I'm, I'm actually really glad that I did the transition and I like it a lot better than floor nursing so besides that my February has been pretty good, pretty uneventful. Um, I wish I could have done a little more, or gone like not traveled but seen some new places but I didn't really get a chance to do that this month. Otherwise, um, pretty excited that Leo won the Oscar finally. I know it's really nerdy, but I am a huge Leo fan. I think he should have won the Oscar like several years ago, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I kind of am in the mood to do like a Leonardo DiCaprio movie marathon now. So maybe when my fiance and I both have a night off together, I think I'll do that. Um, my fiance hasn't seen Inception. Isn't that crazy? I don't know, I think that's just like an awesome movie and he hasn't seen it. Um, so, so yeah, I think I just want to go through and watch all the good Leo movies. Anyways, um, so this video will probably just be uh, my whips update. I have a lot of um, haul, kind of went crazy with the shopping. I rediscovered eBay and saw all the good stuff that I could get for cross stitching on eBay, so I did buy quite a bit. Um, and then, if the video doesn't go too long, I'll probably do the Know Your Needleworker tag and hopefully show off a couple of my fur babies and pets. Um, I know Kelly at the Evergreen Needle and Lindy Stitches and I'm sure several others that I can't really remember right now. Uh, they've been doing like a show and tell with your pets, so I kind of want to do it with mine. I really like it and um, hopefully more of you will do it because I love seeing cute little pets. So. Um, yeah, so whips. Um, my first whip, I think I started last, the last video, you had already seen it. It's a small whip. It is a cat in the box and it's a Mill Hill kit. So I'm almost done. I just ran out of the light blue. So all I have left here is um, this part and then this part right here. So there's a little bit of cross stitching, tiny uh, bit of back stitching and beading and then um, I'll finish it into a magnet. Sorry, there's pet hair floating everywhere. Um, but yeah, I'll finish it as a magnet and then I'll put it away until Christmas time and then bring it out then. I, it took me a while to go to Michael's and then when I finally got the floss, I was more interested in other projects. So um, I just haven't picked this back up yet, but I should finish this like in an evening. So I plan to do that sometime this month. It will be finished by the end of this month. Um, my next whip, 
I showed it in the last video. It's by Pin Stitch, and I believe it's called Woman, excuse me, Woman Carving Fruit. Um, I did get some progress done on it. I wanted to finish a page. It's a four-page chart, and I wanted to finish one page, but I didn't. I kind of got a little bored stitching on it, and I, I think it's related to the fabric. I don't love stitching on Ada. I prefer linen or even weave, so I don't know if that's the reason, but I put it down, and I will pick it up this month. My goal is to finish a page this month, and then... Um, a page next month and there's just like two half pages hopefully I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it by Mother's Day for my mom but that is the goal and if I don't it's okay I'll just give it later so um, so I managed to get her like her waist done and her belt and then some of her skirt so Yeah, just that part right there and I'm filming on my fiance's camera so I cannot see myself this time so I don't know what's showing up and what's not showing up but I have done a couple trial videos um, so hopefully it should focus so my goal is to finish this this page down here this month and then the majority of the the bulk of the stitching is in this bottom half right here so yeah, I really like how she's turning out. I really like how she looks. Um, and I love the colors. It just, I needed a little break from her. So, because I needed a break, I have two new starts. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I did a post where I had three dimensions kits and I asked everyone what they thought I should stitch on. So I picked the one that um, the most people voted for. Um, so it is... Seaside Cottages by Dimension, and this is what it looks like. I think it's super cute and a fun piece. It reminds me of like summer vacation, uh, something I'd want to hang up during the summer. And I only worked on it for one night because I had some hand dyed fabric come in the next day, so I don't have much progress at all. I just have a little bit of a, a tree here. And this is also stitched on 14 count Ada, so um, I, I like that it's easy to stitch on and that the, the crosses are even and um, it's less strain on the eye, but I don't like the, the texture and how it feels and how it feels when my needle goes through the material. So I will stitch on it, but it's just not my favorite. Um, and then my other start is the one that I'm most excited about. It's Mirabilia Gypsy Queen, and I'm stitching it on 32 count Belfast linen uh, in tropical hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie. So I started on her skirt here, and I really love how the colors are popping um, with this fabric. And I started like she has a little accessory down here, so I start some of the Krennic, Krennic, whatever it's called. Um, so this is a progress. Um, so she's been, this has been all I've wanted to stitch on lately, so hopefully, um, I get some more progress done. I haven't been stitching the last few days, I've just been busy with, um, work and we're doing just a lot of, like, educational modules online for work and in class, um, stuff as part of the training program, so I've kind of been busy with that. Plus I work night shifts, so my sleeping schedule is just erratic, um, unfortunately, so I plan to stitch on her today some more. So that's pretty much it for my whips. Um, so my goals for March are to finish that cat in the box, to finish one page on my woman carving fruit, and then to just stitch on Gypsy Queen. Uh, I don't really plan to have any new starts in March, but I did get a lot of stash or haul, so maybe I will. But I really want to just finish a big project first. So, I know everyone always says this, if you don't like haul, then stop watching now. Um, I love haul, I love seeing everyone's haul, that's like one of my favorite parts of the video. I like seeing people's stash, I like seeing what people like to stitch, and I like to know about people's plans, and um, 
you know, people's interest and taste and it always gives me a good idea of what I want to buy and I love being exposed to new patterns and seeing different things. So that's that's how I feel about haul. I love it. So um let's see. Okay. So I got some Mill Hill kits um from the Spring Bouquet collection. The first one I got is the Sea Turtle. And I think these kits are so cute. I want to stitch like every single Mill Hill kit now, but I really want to focus on having some big finishes, so I'm probably not going to start any of the, these till I get either a Gypsy Queen or Woman Carving Fruit done or something. I want a big finish. So that's super cute. Um, I also got, I got two uh, little Easter eggs from the Mill Hill kit. One is this, this ladybug egg, and I got it not only just because of Easter, but because my fiancé told me how him and his daughter used to love like looking for ladybugs. Um, I don't personally have an affinity for ladybugs, but they do, so I wanted to kind of make that for them. So it's so pretty. And I got one more. Um, egg Mill Hill kit and it's dragonfly egg so I just really like the the eggs the shape of the eggs and I think they're so pretty for spring um, so this is a popular Lizzie Kate pattern that I'm sure everyone in the floss tube community has seen um, I've wanted it for several years now um, at least for four years and I had to order some like whisper thread for my project, so I of course stuck in a pattern with it. And um, I'm a huge dog lover, so it was inevitable that I would eventually get this. But it is Lizzie Kate Dog Lessons for People. And for those of you that aren't familiar, it says be loyal and faithful, play every day, drink lots of water, forgive quickly, avoid biting when a growl will do, sit close and listen, follow your instincts, give more than you receive, take naps, be a best friend, and love unconditionally. And I do think that we can learn a lot from dogs and the way they treat people and each other, so... Um, one day I will stitch this and hang this somewhere. I love it. Uh, I got some, um, what are these called, grime guards, but I need to get them in bigger sizes because I'm not really stitching on anything small right now, but I got this cute kitty cat one. And it's from Maggie's Minders, I believe. And then this owl one. So they're pretty, but I need to get bigger ones. Um, she also sent some free needle minders with the grand guards, which I thought, I mean, they're just little pins, but I thought that was really nice, and they're super cute. And that's, like, great customer service right there. Okay, so I, like I said, I rediscovered eBay, and I went on a lavender and lace, um, buying extravaganza. I didn't own any lavender and lace charts before this, but um, now I have about six and like three more on the way, I'm not kidding. And I don't have any immediate plans to stitch these anytime soon, but um, I do plan to start at least one this year. So this one I bought full price, and I love her. This is the one I want to start this year. It's Angel of Christmas. And I think she would just be so gorgeous uh, during the holiday season to have hanging on the walls. And I'm not um, a religious person or anything, but I just think these these angels are so beautiful that I want to stitch them all. And then I went on eBay and I did uh, I bought a lot of like five patterns, and I got five lavender and lace patterns for fifteen dollars plus like three dollars shipping, which I think is a great deal. So. I am, I haven't opened them and I don't, I know that there is glare with plastic, so excuse the noise. So this one I really like too. I want to stitch her soon. I think she's so pretty. Uh, Blue Moon Angel. Uh, 
Um, I love the colors and I really love stitching on different um, colored fabrics so that will be a really pretty fabric to be able to stitch her on. I should have opened this before the video but whatever. Um, this is Ice Angel. She's another one that I really love. They were the main reasons that I wanted the lot were those two patterns right there. I also got the bride. Um, she's a little bit old fashioned, but I still like her and I still want to stitch her. Um, so this is how she looks, the bride. And I just realized that this is actually like a, a photograph, like the some of the older Mirabilia kits are just pictures, so this is a legit photograph. That's my first time experiencing that. Um, this one, is she's quite popular right now. I know um, Olivia and Kelly from the Evergreen Needle actually started her, and I know Emily um, all own her now, and Angelica. And I really like her, and I think they were saying they really liked her because it reminds them of like art history class and like the Renaissance period, and she looks very authentic, and I like her for the same reason, so. I don't think I'm going to start her anytime soon, um, so I will look forward to watching and seeing Kelly's progress on her and whoever else decides to start stitching her. And then I got Heavenly Gifts, and actually this is the one I like the least of the um, haul that I got for Lavender and Lace. I, I don't know, maybe I will give this one away um, if anyone wants it. I just opened the pattern, but just to take this out. So I don't know yet, but if anyone likes it, let me know. Heavenly Gifts. It's not really my style, so... Maybe I can pass it along to somebody else that would have better use for it. Okay, so I know most of this video is just my, my haul. And I have a timer on because my fiance's camera cuts out at 30 minutes, so I need to do this in like increments. So that's why I'm checking my phone. Um, so I got that Dimensions kit. The Seaside Cottages was one of them. And then I also got this Woman with Bouquet. And I love her. I think she's gorgeous. Um, she's actually like one of my favorite uh, cross stitch ladies, even though she's on a Mirabilia. I just love like the Spanish part and just her, the angle she's standing and just, she looks so pretty with her, I don't know, she looks really pretty to me. And then I got Lakeside Village, which is really pretty. I really like the vibrant colors. It looks like maybe it could be in Italy, like in the Amalfi Coast or something. Um, I mean, I could be wrong, but that's what it reminds me of, and that's actually where hopefully my fiance and I will be getting married. We decided that we're going to elope. Um, we love to travel, and since we got engaged in like another, like we got engaged in Paris, we want to kind of continue to travel and get married somewhere exotic and unique, and Instead of spending like all that money on a wedding, we want to just spend that money traveling and getting married someone get, getting married somewhere fun, and then putting that money towards a house or a condo or property. Um, it's really expensive here in San Diego. It's really tough, so we do want to get on that, and that's kind of more of a priority for us than having a big wedding. Although that would have been nice, um, but neither one of us are getting uh, help from our families. So this is. Sorry, it was a tangent, but this is like Side Village. And then I got some fabric, um, some hand dyed fabric in. So I mentioned I was going to be doing the Frosty Forest Stitch Along starting March 15th. If anyone wants to join, there's a group on Facebook and it, like I said, it's hosted by Jeanette, every little stitching thing on Instagram. And I finally got my fabric. It's from Picture This Plus. It's Glacier. So 
I don't know if the fabric is going to show up, but here we go. So I'm not going to pull all the patterns out and put it against this, but I think it's going to look really pretty on this blue. I, I really love this fabric, so I'm even more excited to kind of start. Oh my gosh, it's going to be this month. I didn't even realize. It's, I forgot. It's already March. Um, really excited to start this one. Um, so I guess I will have a new start this month. I am, yeah, losing it here. And I also got some fabric for a couple other mirabilia. I started to pick this one up too. So I don't think I showed this one, but this is um, the Woodland Fairy. And I think she's super pretty. Um, so I started like I got her her beads and the hand dyed floss and. Her Krennic, Krennic, I don't know how to pronounce it, but, oh, they're so pretty. The colors are so pretty. I want to start her, like, I can't hold these without, so there's some, and some more. So pretty. So I got fabric from, picture this, no, hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie, and it's simply sage, and I didn't get out the package yet, but, so, so she just need, I just need to buy the DMC floss for her, but I am not going to start her, um, anytime soon. And, I showed this pattern in my last video, but I got the fabric for her. Um, the pattern is Moonflowers by Mirabilia. I noticed that I'm really drawn to like the purples and the, the blues and greens in cross stitching. And I'm going to stitch her. This is from Picture This Plus 32 Count Belfast um, Conifer on this, this dark fabric. So I kind of wanted to do that um, because it reminds me I wanted to do something more like nighttime with the moon. So I had my fiance actually, I had like two different fabrics and I had him choose on the viewer. So he chose this one. So I'm hoping it will uh, come out. Uh, otherwise my big haul, let me see. I'm checking the time. Okay. So I've got a ton of magazines and I'm not going to go through them right now because, like, literally, yeah, we'd be here for a long time. So I just got a ton of magazines, and I'm learning, like, which ones I like and don't like. Um, so I got a whole bunch of old school magazines, hoping that I would find some good patterns, but it's from, like, the late 80s, early 90s, and I'm not really finding a lot of patterns that I'm liking in them, but... And all the cross-stitch gold and just cross-stitch, I'm finding a lot that I want to stitch. So I'm not going to go through them all right now. I might do a separate video and go through some of the magazines and books that I got and kind of like pick out, like display my favorite patterns and kind of show them in case someone hadn't seen what was in the magazine and wanted to purchase a back order or old copy. Um, but I won't do that now. And then I got some books. I was inspired by Leticia from uh, The Crafty Curator. And I got them all off Amazon because they were all super cheap. So I got Cross Stitch Safari. And these are all of Jane Nutley Mayhew. And Animal Collection. Cats of the World. Lucky, my dog's barking. Um, the Water's Edge and Cross Stitch. Hey! And uh, Cross Stitch Flowers. Um, continuing on, my biggest 
haul purchase was from Heaven Earth Designs. I decided to purchase two kits and um, that was quite expensive but um, I just like the idea of getting everything from them. I want to start I have an earth design soon but I probably will probably not this month so so it came so I got two um, kits or two charts so they came in a big box and each box had like a big bag like this um, So the first one I got see I don't even know I mixed up my charts in my bag so I'll have to reorganize it but um, I can't pronounce this it's by Jasmine Beckett Griffith I don't normally um, tend to be drawn to these type of like face charts or face patterns but there's something about her. She looks really mel melancholic and sad, and I just like the blues, so I don't know. I was drawn to her. I really want to stitch her. So each kit came with, like, the chart I ordered separately, and then the fabric. And I'm going to stitch them on 25 Count Lugana, not gridded. I don't like the gridding. Um, I don't like, like, the pink gridding that comes on DMC Magic Guide. It distracts, like, it not distracts me but it messes me up like the color messes me up I don't know why so I'm just gonna do it without gritting and hope that I don't make any mistakes um, and then this is how the floss came packaged I think this is her her floss and it's just a ton of floss but they came on these cards and pretty bow, laminated cards, numerical order, good quality clips. So I really like, I really like that it's done for me like this. I don't, I'm not really liking to bobinate right now. I'm starting to just put my floss in Ziploc baggies. So this is nice. And it was all packaged beautifully. I just opened it up and it's not nice anymore. And it came with some bobbins that I checked off to, just in case I wanted to bobbinate. And the last thing, I was wondering if someone could tell me um, what this is. I don't know what it is. I'm thinking it's either to count spaces or I don't know if it's a thread. I, I don't know what this is for, honestly. So, um, oops. So I don't know, hopefully this will focus, okay, so maybe, um, maybe you guys could let me know what this is, this is for. And then the other pattern I got is um, Farewell to Anger by, I cannot pronounce his name, Leonid a frame off and this is so gorgeous I when I saw it I immediately fell in love and everything about it the colors um, just the two people I don't know everything about it I really like um, obviously or else I wouldn't have gotten it kitted up right but I really would I think this would be so gorgeous to just have hanging in my living room so that is pretty much it for my haul, which I feel like was a bit excessive for myself. Um, I do have some stuff coming in, but nothing, nothing crazy, nothing big. I think I'm going to not necessarily put myself on a buying ban, but I'm going to kind of cool it with the patterns for a while because I literally think even though I just started cross stitching this past year, I have enough patterns to last me until I'm a very old woman. Um, that's not going to stop me from buying more, but I should take a break from it. Um, and then like those magazines, I just find so many patterns that I want to stitch in those as well that it's just like how am I ever going to get to it if I keep 
adding. So I think I'm going to try not to buy um, any more patterns, at least until my birthday, which is in May. Um, but I can buy fabric and floss and anything I need to kit up what I already have. And then in May, we'll go from there. Um, I mean, if I see something I really like, then I'll, I'm still going to buy it. But I'm going to try my hardest not to, you know, just buy patterns, like left and right. So, yeah, so I think I'll do the Know Your Needleworker tag. Um, I'm going to look at my phone here to pull up the questions. I think the first one is, where do you live? I live in San Diego, California. It's a beautiful place to be. Uh, I think right now the weather is in the mid-70s. It's perfect weather right now. Um, you know, we're really close drive to the mountains, so we can go to the snow if we want to, or right next to the beach. Uh, close drive to Mexico. Uh, you know, if you go past certain parts, it's very beautiful down there. And then close to L.A., and we can do road trips to Santa Barbara, and... I love living here. I pretty much lived here my whole life, so um, I don't really know anything else. If I were to choose to live somewhere else, I think I would pick Portland. My fiance and I went there last year and I fell in love with it, um, but I do love San Diego and I do love living here. I don't love that everything is so expensive, like property. Um, it's hard to buy a home. It's, just, it's crazy. The prices are crazy. and. Um, more and more people will move here, which I can understand because it's beautiful, um, but it's really crowded now. So that aspect I don't love, and I don't love that we don't get that much rain. I mean, we are in a drought, but um, overall it's a really great place to live. What do you do for a living? So as I said earlier, I'm a nurse. Um, do you have any other hobbies other than cross stitch? I do. I love to read. I learned how to crochet last winter, which I haven't done much of um, this year, but there's that. And I do like to hike. Last year, my fiance and I did this 52 hike challenge. You can look that up on Instagram or on Facebook. I'm sure they have a website or just do like hashtag 52 hike challenge and you can see all the hikes that people are doing. And it's a big community and um, it's just really great. Um, challenge to get people moving, get people like outdoors and more involved with nature and you get to like meet people that also love to hike and do that hobby. Um, and I learned about so many hikes and my fiance and I did so many hikes last year that I never would have done or known about. Um, we did get a little burnt out on hiking. We did this hike in uh, San Gregonio. I'm sure some of you have heard of it. It's in bear country and it's like, I think it's 18 miles. Um, round trip and we were pretty much the only ones on the trail and we got like two miles away from the top and it was so late we just couldn't finish it and we turned around um, and we were just after that hike I think it really pushed us to the limit we tried to do it all in one day so I've kind of been taking a break from hiking since then um, but it was awesome like we were walking on the trail and then I turned around and I was this close like I was right next to a deer which um, I think, you know, obviously for people that live in other parts of the country on our farm or something, like, that's not that cool, but for this SoCal San Diego girl, that was pretty cool. So I do like hiking, but, um, a little burnt out on it. And, let's see. Do you have any pets? Oh, do you have any kids? No, I don't. My fiancé has a daughter and she's six, so I will have a stepdaughter eventually technically. Do you have any pets? I have three pets. I have a cat named Pino. I have a Pomeranian named Lucky. And then I have a Shiba Inu puppy. Her name's Kuma. She is, like, we are obsessed with her. She is the best dog ever, except the past week or so. She's been so destructive. Like, last night, she just tore a three-inch hole in my rug all the way down to the, um, to the wooden floor. So, we normally put her in doggy daycare when my fiance and I both work the same nights, but we have been working like opposite schedules this month and I, she hasn't been to doggy daycare, so I think the lack of, um, you know, 12 hours of playtime has been, she has a lot of energy pent up and she is taking it out on the apartment. So after this, I'm actually going to take her on a five mile walk around the lake and then take her to dog park, so hopefully she won't do any more destruction <laughs> tonight. Um, what is your favorite movie? I love horror movies. I 
I like cheesy movies. My favorite horror movie series is the Scream series. I don't know. I just, I've always loved it. Um, I love Titanic. I know. Uh, yeah, just, uh, there's a lot of good movies, but I guess I just kept those my favorites from when I was a kid, and um, I can't really think right now of newer movies that are my favorites, but I do obviously like newer movies. Um, my favorite, what is your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show of all time is Friends, but I do like mysteries, thrillers, um, and like comedies, so I'm always like continuously watching Criminal Minds. I just finished, well not just finished, but recently finished The Killing, um, Top of the Lake, The Following, and I'm also watching Prison of Interest, so any of those kind of shows I really like. Anything with a good plot twist and a good mystery and all about it. And then the cheesy comedy is just for like an escape. So I really like Family Guy, um, How I Met Your Mother, Mindy Project, anything like that. I love Netflix. So, And then what is your favorite mu music genre? I don't have a favorite. I literally listen to, ev not everything, but almost everything. I don't like death metal or anything, but I like country, I like rap, I like um, pop. R&B, um, oldies, I, uh, I, I, this is what I say, I like music that makes me feel, so any song that's like really pretty or can bring out like emotion in me, I really like. Um, what is your favorite book? I don't have a favorite book. Um, I do love the Harry Potter series, I do um, love Little Woman, but I really like to read mystery novels, suspense, thriller. Um, so Harlan Coben I really like. I'm reading this series. I forgot the name of the author, but the books are Eenie Meenie and Pop Goes the Weasel, and the third one was just released, and those are really good. Um, anything, uh, anything with a good plot twist, mystery, thriller, same way I'm with movies, and let's say Jonathan Kellerman's really good. Uh, I do like women's fiction as well, it's the Shopaholic series. Um, Jojo Mays or Jojo Moyes, her, I read one of her, the Me Before You, that book was so good, you need to read it, it made me bawl. Um, I like any book that can evoke emotion for me as well, and uh, I'm looking at my bookshelf right now. Um, I don't know, I was going to say someone else, but I forgot already. So that's what I like, I love to read. Um, I've been doing a little bit less reading since I started cross-stitching more, so I am listening to audiobooks. Right now I'm listening to You. The book is called You, and it's told in the perspective of the um, the stalker or the, the bad guy, and it's really interesting and kind of creepy to listen to, but I like it. And then what one word describes you best? That is a hard question. I don't know. Um, I think maybe like compassionate or empathetic. I I don't want to say sensitive because I don't think that's necessarily like a good word to, um, you know, just if that was just the one word to describe me, I wouldn't say sensitive. But I feel like I'm very in tune with, um, you know, like emotions kind of. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but I just like. I, I don't know. I am getting a little more jaded and a little more cynical being a nurse, I'm not going to lie. Um, but for the legit cases or the legit situations, I'm a, I would say I'm very compassionate. Um, some people would say I'm sweet, but I don't think I'm that sweet. And um, I guess you, I don't know. That's more than one word. So yeah, that's it. And pretty much that's all I have for to share in my video this month. I probably will be back ne next month with an update on March. Um, maybe I'll do a video in between, um, kind of showing off the magazine patterns and uh, the, book, the books, although I think a lot of people have already covered the books, so if, if that's the case, I'm not going to go through it again. Um, but yeah, it's been a pleasure connecting with everybody and hope everyone has a great March and I will see you guys around. So thanks for watching. Oh, and I did want to show off my pets, but um, one of them is sleeping in the bedroom, one of them is sleeping in his bed, and the other one is on the patio uh, 
people watching and judging. So maybe maybe next video, maybe I'll do a separate video with my pets. So all right, bye. Thanks for watching again. Yeah. Is it on? Yeah. Kuma, say hi. Hi, this is Kuma. Give me a kiss. <laughs>